And it's Market Monday over at Heritage Marketplace. So excited about featuring these two businesses that you can find every Saturday. My father passed away about five years ago, and I ended up with one of his ties, and I was looking for something to do with it instead of just let it hang in the closet or wad it up in a drawer. And so I started looking online, and I found uh, a scarf that I could, a uh, pattern that I could use to make. And so I wanted to make my own memory scarf for my, uh, with my dad's tie in it. And so I started that way about 18 months ago. And uh, I've changed the pattern and adapted it and uh, all of that over the, the time. But it has worked well. And so I started making ladies' scarves out of men's ties. I used five ties and sew them together to make a scarf and they're great for travel, they're a great travel accessory because the look changes every time you uh, fold it differently. So uh, you can pack five different t-shirts and one scarf and you look great on a cruise for dinner every night because you have a new scarf on. I have dog scarves. After I got started on the ladies scarves, I have grand dogs and I started making some dog scarves out of men's ties. And my children said, well, mom, we need bigger scarves than what you can make out of a man's tie. And so I started making dog scarves that fit right over the collar. They're reversible and they come in five sizes. And so I have Texas Tech, I have UT, A&M, Baylor University, and then I try to do seasonal dog scarves. Out of the small end of the tie that I don't use for the ladies scarves, I make silk scrunchies, which are great for your hair. They don't break your hair off. They don't leave a crimp. You can sleep in them. And men and women both enjoy wearing these scrunchies. If someone doesn't find a scarf they like, I have a design your own scarf where if you know what's in your closet better than I do, you can come and pick out five ties to then I'll sew it together and make you a, a scarf. Or if you have a tie from a loved one, you can put it together. So coming up at this, or actually on next week on Monday, we have our very first uh, kids camp. And so it's going to run from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday the 14th through Friday the 18th. And so the last, uh, last day for signups for that is going to be this Thursday. So it's going to be ages 6 to 13, whenever. If the 6, as long as they want to come up, we'll find something for them to do. But we're going to do boxing, kickboxing, jujitsu, um, sports like speed and agility, sports training, and uh, confidence building type games. So that's coming up. And then on the 19th, that very next day, we're going to have Cars in Combat. We are so excited about this. So we have Rampage Wrestling coming out. They're going to set their ring up out in the parking lot and do live wrestling for us. This is from 11 to 2. Um, we're partnering with, partnering with Nextdoor. Um, well, y'all, you guys, I think the Heritage is going to be out there as well. They'll have all of their stuff going on. So we'll have food trucks. Um, yeah, and classic cars and new cars and custom cars and every type of car that you want to see. They'll be out here in the parking lot. We'll be selling some brisket. So we're going to do that as a fundraiser for our fight team. And um, yeah, it's just going to be a really fun day. Fathers, it's kind of our Father's Day special. And so we want our, our guys to come out and, and feel like they're being a little bit taken care of with all this fun entertainment. So that's what's going on. Thank you guys so much. I love getting to meet you and see how your story kind of got made. Remember, check them out on Saturday, and we'll have more Turns of Friends coming up right after the break.